This is D, and let's dress for life. That's what's up. Recently, someone stated words to the effect that Puerto Ricans want everything done for them. Well, I'll be honest with you. I am more than willing to assist them. Why would I be willing to assist them? Well, it's not just because of this beautiful dark chocolate sister I met from Carolina. And it's not just because of Jose and Moraima who took me into their house when I was homeless and hungry. And it's not just because I want to visit a beautiful Caribbean island. But more than anything, it's because I do not want to lose that humane element that is so depleted in society at this time. Helping individuals has more to do with the helper than it does the one being helped. And I am more than willing to lend my hand in helping the proud people of Puerto Rico. And how would I do that? I would make sure if I had all the monies I desired, that every single household would have a cleanup kit. And what would be in that cleanup kit? Well, first of all, there would be protective gear. That protective gear would include an N95 respirator mask. And the N95 is so powerful because it keeps out 95% of the airborne particles. And then I'd make sure that I had goggles or glasses, once again, to keep out particles and liquids um, and dust. I would also have gloves, heavy duty gloves for grip, as well as latex gloves for keeping, keeping various liquids off of my hands. And then I'd also have a sweatband. It gets hot on that island. I'd also make sure I had garbage bags. Garbage bags would be significant in collecting debris or and storing things. Garbage are, bags are vital. And then bleach. I wouldn't use lemon scented bleach, strawberry scented bleach, um, um, what do you call it? Um, summer laundry bleach. I would use plain old bleach. Why is bleach so powerful? Well, bleach can actually help in water purification. You just put a few drops in and then you just let the water sit and it can actually, the water can actually be drink, drinkable at the um, after a little bit. Also, bleach can kill germs, kill bacteria and mold. One thing that I've actually been able to, to do is just put some bleach in a bottle and just like the little bottle that you see, put a little water in there as well and just spray the area. And you, you don't want to spray the cat. In that cleanup kit would be scrubbing items. Strong bristled scr uh, scrubbing brush. Durable scrubber sponge. Don't you hate those scrubber sponges that as soon as, as, soon as they touch water, they, they just soften up and they, they're just they they can't hold up at all get something it's money well spent and i'd also get brillo pads and paper towels and and disposable cloths they can go a long ways as well and another thing i would have in that um cleanup kit would be cleaning agents multi-surface agents um window cleaning agents as well as Comet. I mean, as a kid, I as a kid, I used to use Comet. I I assume that Comet really does a good job, just like it did when I was a kid. Um, but <laughs> my kids do it now. Um, as far as pine saw, I know that it smells good. Um, I'm pretty sure it works also. But when 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 you're in a whole lot of trash, a whole lot of debris, it's good to smell something that 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 signifies cleanliness. One other thing I would have in there is I'm not sure how to pronounce that. If it's sote or zote or zoti, but that's highly significant because that's used for cleaning clothes. What else would I have? 
I'd have a broom and a dustpan. Why a standing dustpan? You're going to be doing a lot of stooping and, and squatting and bending. Just make it easy on yourself and get a standing dustpan. Now, with all of these items, what am I going to do with them? I think personally, one of the best things that I can do is actually have a bucket. A bucket to contain the items. I put all the various items inside the bucket. And then after I get all the items inside the bucket. And mind you, all of the items would not fit inside the bucket. In fact, I may have to um, pull some items out and put, put, put them in in a different way. And once I got all of the items in that, I'm, that could fit inside, I'd wrap the, I'd wrap the bag I would wrap the um, bucket up. The reason I'd wrap it up is to ensure that the items stay in there safe and secure, nice and secure, tight. I'd also wrap the items that couldn't fit inside around the, around the tub, around the bucket. Um, and then what I'd also do, the broom and dustpan, I'd make sure that the broom and dustpan were attached to that. And that is for easy, that is for easy pickup. It's for easy carry. The beautiful thing about the disaster cleanup kit with everything being together, you don't have to worry about assembling anything. As soon as you touch down and you open shop, they'll be ready to grab it and go so they can get on about their business. And this video is presented con amor a la gente de Puerto Rico. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Additionally, go to www.destressmethod.com for more resource information. That's all we got for now. This is D and Less Stress for Life. That's what's up. Peace.